रेगिस्तान है एक सूरज एक धरती है एक गगन सूरज के तेज में सुनहरा आज है धरती की कोख में बसे खजाने में दमकता कल है गगन में बहती हवा से उपजती शक्ति से आज और कल दोनों सफल है सोलर पावर विंड पावर मिनरल्स की ऊर्जा जब मिलती है एक इंसान के दिमाग की ताकत से तो वो है प्रगति पूरे राज्य की जैसा पहले कभी नहीं हुआ वैसा अब यहां होगा राजा महाराजाओं की धरती पर खड़ी गगन चुंबी इमारतें लिखेंगी तरक्की की इबारतें मनुष्य और प्रकृति रचेगी इतिहास जिस धरती पर राजस्थान वो धरती है हर सर है उठा हर हाथ है तैयार राजस्थान है तैयार राजस्थान a symbol of royalty and rich cultural heritage hosted the resurgent Rajasthan Partnership Summit in Jaipur with the objective of attracting investment in its core sectors. The Chief Minister's vision of welcoming global and local investors with open arms helped the government sign MOUs for proposed investment worth more than 3.21 lakh crore rupees, starting a new journey towards long-term growth and inclusive development. Rajasthan model of development that we have embarked on rests on three pillars. The first pillar is social development and second pillar is that on, that on governance reform, that is basically effective governance. And the third pillar rests on job creation. And therefore, centered around these three pillars, which are the core of the developmental vision that the state of Rajasthan has embarked on. Top leaders of India Inc. spoke of their investment commitment towards the state and the two-day summit, which also had investors from Japan, Singapore, Australia, among others. Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley advocated the need for state governments to enact labor reforms, even as he singled out the Rajasthan government for pioneering such measures. Rajasthan has finally found its core areas. People wanting to invest in solar power, in wind power, people wanting to invest in the tourism sector, something which has come as a mainstay of Rajasthan economy. And therefore, while you invite all these investors today, we'll probably have to rewrite some of the chapters in the conventional planning which we have undertaken. Rajasthan should now endeavor to become a pioneer state in the ease of doing business, where land is easily available, sanctions are easily granted, and between the date that all these honorable gentlemen on the dais and elsewhere in this beautiful convention center decide to invest in the state and the actual commencement of their in projects, if the time taken is the least compared to any other part of the country, your right to future in investments and your entitlement to those future investments is also going to increase. The summit recognized Rajasthan as one of India's premier industrial hubs, brimming with investment opportunities. Ranked fourth among the states in terms of proposed investment intentions made by domestic and foreign entrepreneurs, leaders of the industry spoke of their vision and association with India's largest state. The Reliance Group is one of the largest partners in progress of Rajasthan. As a long-term investor and partner, we have already made investments exceeding over 7,000 crores spread across solar power generation, telecoms, roads, financial services, and the entertainment sectors. For us in the Aditya Birla Group, Rajasthan has been amongst our most favorite investment destinations. Way back in the late 1980s, our group made its first investment in Rajasthan, setting up a white cement plant in Jodhpur. And since then, there has been no looking back. Up until now, we have invested 6,500 crores in Rajasthan only in our cement business. In the near future, we plan to invest 7,000 crores towards two more grey cement plants at Pali and at Navalgarh with a total capacity of 7 million tons. The resurgent Rajasthan summit raised awareness about the presence of diverse sectors within the state. 
apart from building focus across various emerging sectors such as auto and auto component manufacturing, solar component manufacturing, power generation, IT, exploration and textiles, the summit also raised interest among other groups. The Adani group has partnered with the state government and will be jointly developing the world largest solar power park in western Rajasthan. Along with our business endeavors, we are cognizant that it is our responsibility to also fulfill our social obligation to the state. Therefore, the Adani Foundation has been working tirelessly towards community development in the areas of education, health, rural infrastructure, and sustainable livelihood. We will be designing and developing in Rajasthan for the world. In January, we will open our R&D center just outside of Jaipur in Kukas, which to my mind will be more than world-class. As a group, we already are also produ producing clean energy in Rajasthan. We've set up wind energy, and we're also looking forward to getting land from you for producing solar energy like some of my other compatriots on the dais. A renewable energy business, Mahindra Sustam, is now operational, and we are looking forward to making Rajasthan a leader in renewable energy. Club Mahindra has established a number of resorts, and we think we will be establishing many more. So there is much more to come. The event brought the issue of planned urbanization to the forefront, with sessions on infrastructure development projects, affordable housing, waste management, energy efficiency and mass transportation. This was also in line with the centre's focus on building smart cities, where Jaipur, Udaipur, Ajmer and Kota presented immense opportunities for global investors. I am happy to say out of the 100 cities selected for smart cities, four cities are from the state of Rajasthan. Kota, Udaipur and then Jaipur, all these cities. They are part of the smart city program. And then we are also happy to say that within the Amru cities of the country, here in Rajasthan alone, more than 20 cities, 29 cities are chosen for development under Atal Mission, that is Amrut program. We'll be funding for sanitation, we'll be funding for solid waste management, we'll be funding for transportation, we'll be funding for construction of the houses also in these cities. In Rajasthan, we are going to develop 24 railway stations, which already has a huge customer base because people come and frequent it there. And those stations, the air land and air rights of that could be developed into modern real estate icons. A key focus area for the summit was to increase skill ability and employability within the state. Through its initiatives, Rajasthan today stands to contribute significantly to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Skill India program that aims to train over 40 crore people in India by 2022. 12 years of school education may not give you employment, but 12 weeks of training with 12 years of school education can pass possibly make you employable. And that is what we are talking today when we are talking about skilling is the employability of a person after getting schooling, he should be capable of reaching that point. I would submit the real India, anybody who attends these kind of investment summits is a, is a, is a sampling error. Um, more, the real India is 95% and we've got to think of that. And skills and education and employability is the only way we can make India proud of herself again. The first day of the summit comprised parallel sectoral sessions focusing on tourism, infrastructure, automobile, mining and healthcare amongst many others, with top government representatives and industry mavericks deliberating on ways forward. I think at the cost of being repetitive, I think it's very clear to us that India has a huge healthcare challenge and this challenge cannot be addressed through linear old-fashioned means. We have to look at it disruptively. We have to leverage technology. And I think that's what we're all talking about. India's energy security in the days to come is closely linked with our renewable energy plans, coupled with our responsibility as a conscious global citizen 
towards the environment, towards leaving behind a better planet for the next generation. And in that sense, Rajasthan's leadership in renewable energy will not only be appreciated by all of India, but I think the whole world will look up to Rajasthan's very, very important initiatives to promote renewable energy in a massive scale. Rajasthan's aim for inclusive development received a boost at the summit when designated international partners such as Japan and Singapore committed to making investments in the state. Taking the first step towards our expansion, we have already announced OG Interpac India, 100% investment by OG Group at Greater Noida. Singapore company could participate in Rajasthan's growth in the sectors such as urban solutions, trade, manufacturing, tourism and hospitality. Given how Rajasthan has always been a magnet for tourists owing to its scenic beauty, charming cities and colourful culture, the resurgent Rajasthan Partnership Summit focused on tourism as a key sector to drive investment. राजस्थान का टूरिज्म कम नहीं होगा क्योंकि राजस्थान के पास इतना कुछ है देने के लिए 162 मॉन्यूमेंट्स हैं हमारे पास हेरिटेज प्लेसेस हैं जो आर्कियोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया के माध्यम से फोर्ट्स किले बावड़ी बीग पैलेस इतने सारे प्लेसेस हैं जो इतने शायद किसी प्रदेश में हमारे में नहीं और शायद नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं है हियर इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी आई फील इज द राइट टाइम to invest in handicraft sector in Rajasthan. Recognizing the potential of the MSME sector in the state, the second day of the summit dedicated a power-packed conclave on the opportunities and challenges that the sector faces. It also established the fact that the MSME sector in Rajasthan had grown steadily and was now the largest employer. Rajasthan has shauri ke liye vikhyat hai. Wahi udhyamita ke liye vikhyat hai. Entrepreneurship ke liye vikhyat hai. दोनों चीजें राजस्थान के रगरग में है लेकिन यह बात सही है उद्यमी तैयार करना और रोजगार देना यह माइक्रो इस्मान ही कर सकता है दूसरा कोई नहीं कर सकता From setting up new industrial ventures and transforming traditional industries to the emergence of startups, the summit focused on every aspect that can drive progress within the sector. Design today. Just as innovation is, is a backbone for industry, particularly for small and medium. I'm glad to say, Government of India recognized this, and the National Institute of Design was treated as a national institute of national importance. Government of India agrees to have a center started in Rajasthan, wherever the Chief Minister would choose to have it, मुझे लगता है कि हम लोग अगर कोशिश करें हमारे एंटरप्रेन्योर्स अगर कोशिश करें अपना क्वालिटी बढ़ाने में हम सक्षम रहेंगे और इसमें सरकार की तरफ से हम जो लीन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम किए हैं हम काइजन सिस्टम का ट्रेनिंग देते हैं और क्लस्टर में जो करते हैं ये छोटे छोटे कदम हैं द ग्रोथ एंड द सक्सेस ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ग्रोथ इन इंडिया कैन ओनली एंड ओनली कम थ्रू एम एस एम ईज वी के नॉट फो गेट दैट इंडिया इज एन ऑन्ट्रप्रनोर सोसाइटी and the biggest entrepreneurs that you find are in the sector of MSMEs. The resurgent Rajasthan summit took months of planning and a joint effort by a multitude of state government's agencies. It showcased Rajasthan as a progressive state which is willing to undertake a slew of reforms to start a new era of all-round development. Rajasthan has a special role to play. I see it as being the dynamo for India's growth because it has had a history of good industrial development, but which had suffered in between. And I'm glad under the Chief Minister's leadership, it is that, that which is getting revived. It is an aspiring leader in terms of industrial development, and therefore, that's a role which Rajasthan eminently deserves. It is because it has adopted industrial friendly policies. I know there is a single window clearance system which has brought in the change and that together with the policy itself is going to make a difference. The last two days we have witnessed 
phenomenal success in terms of the in investment intentions, policy, and in incentive announcements, participation of a galaxy of investors around the country, across the world, all converging in Jaipur and talking how they could really take this mammoth gathering and discussions that has taken place over the last two days, how this can be really taken forward. MOUs worth more than 300,000 crores have already been signed, and we all believe that this was just a beginning. But one of the important aspects of the Rajasthan history has been, and we are looking forward to making... The Resurgent Rajasthan, Rajasthan, Rajasthan Partnership Rajasthan Summit was a resounding success. A total investment commitment of 3,30,000 crore rupees with the potential to generate 2.5 lakh jobs was announced. I have no doubt you will succeed in this mission. Establishing Rajasthan as a promising investment hub. Rajasthan Summit ki darkhast ab desh bhar mein gunj rahi hai. Padharo mare desh. Mera jawab hai. Poo to Rajasthan rahi hu. Rajasthan maro desh.